In the previous video, we considered the transverse wave. Now let's look at the longitudinal wave. This is a wave in which the particles of the medium, demonstrated by the coils in this animation, travel left and right parallel to the direction that the wave propagates. Convince yourself, however, that any one particular coil travels only a very small distance back and forth, back and forth, left, right, while the energy demonstrated by the white is what travels across the entire slinky. Let's capture the difference between the transverse wave and the longitudinal wave in our journal. So there are two categories of waves. We use a rope to model the transverse wave, and we use a slinky to model our longitudinal wave. Now the primary difference between these two is simple. A transverse wave is one in which the medium, in this case the rope, oscillates perpendicular to, as shown by the red arrow, the direction that the wave itself moves, as shown by the black arrow pointing rightward. A longitudinal wave, on the other hand, is one in which the medium, in this case the slinky, oscillates left and right parallel to the direction of the wave's motion. Now there's a lot here. Why don't you press pause and make sure you include this in your journal. Okay, let's see what you can recall. After reading this question, you can answer it below.